Hello and welcome. In this video we'll be looking at how we can use 360 footage to create the little planet effect. So if I just press play now you can see we have the kind of 360 scene or capture. This is of the Tennyson statue in Ling Cathedral. And we have the local area basically being wrapped around this spherical sphere and it looking like the kind of this world is rotating and spinning. Now I've got this at half resolution just because this is uh, taking a while to render because again when we're working with 360 footage the file sizes do tend to be a lot larger. Uh, but I'll guide you through how we achieve this, how we can kind of use the reframing tools to create some quite nifty effects and we'll be doing all this within Premiere Pro. So without further ado I'm going to start a new project and show you how this was achieved. Okay so I've opened up a fresh Premiere Pro project, this is uh, nothing in here. Uh, other than my 360 video clip. So all I've done is I've actually taken one of the sample 360 pieces of footage um, around Lincoln Cathedral and what I want to do is take this 360 that's already been uh, flattened into a equitangular image and I want to stitch this and create a sphere where the camera can either be looking at the kind of inside outwards with the sky kind of surrounding our scene or the inverse and just to create a kind of effect where we can have the camera kind of pulsing in and out or rotating around essentially reframing our 360 shot. So this uh, reframing option to create a little planet effect tends to only be really used for traditional flat films so 16 by 9 kind of YouTube content content that's not going to be viewed 360 degrees. Uh, the reason we don't use the free rate frame tools within viewing footage within 360 degrees typically is if you're watching something and the user's got control of let's say their phone or a VR headset and you're using the free frame tools you're actually going to start to disorientate the user by kind of moving around their view without their control and you're removing basically the advantage of 360 which is the user can control what they see once you start controlling that it might as well just be a normal piece of footage Okay, so I'm just going to create a new sequence. So I'm just going to go over here, click on the little new button, I'm going to create a new sequence. And all I'm looking for is a standard uh, 16, 1920 by 1080 resolution. So I'm going to go to AVC HD, 1080, and I'm just going to select AVC HD 25. Hit OK. Just check my sequence settings are correct. So yeah, 1920 by 1080, 16 by 9 square pixels. Uh, that's all fine. I'm not really going to worry about that too much. I can always adjust this later if I wanted to. Uh, we're not going to worry about the VR properties because we're not going to be rendering it out in VR. Okay, so I'm just going to drag my video clip onto my sequence, and I'm going to keep my existing settings so my sequence settings so now we should have our 360 footage within our 16 by 9 window um, but you'll notice I have no option to rotate around it's basically fixated at the point that the um, camera was originally po uh, positioned at uh, or at least the one of the two lenses in this case so in order to do this we're going to need a plugin uh, and the plugin we're going to be using is this one here, which is known as the GoPro FX Reframe. Now, this is a plugin that works for Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. It's free to download. Uh, the link will be in the description. Um, this is sometimes included within the Adobe installation package. However, if it isn't, you can just download it from the uh, link in the description. And what this allows you to do is basically this allows you to reframe where the focus is on your 360 piece of footage essentially. This was originally designed for the GoPro Max and the GoPro range of 360 cameras, but this does work with all 360 cameras. Okay, so I'm, once I've got my plugin installed, I'm going to go over to my effects panel or Windows effects, and I'm going to search for my GoPro reframe FX. So FX reframe. I'm going to drag this onto my video clip, like so. And down here we should have now our properties for GoPro FX reframe. We're going to keep the projection at GoPro HD 16 by 9, like so. 
we're not going to use the source image. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the source operations. So what we have here is our your pitch and roll, same as our pan, tilt and rotate. Uh, these will work basically control the footage itself, so the um, rotating the footage, whereas this will rotate the camera looking at the footage essentially. Both will look like they're doing the same thing, um, but again the two uh, are technically doing different things. So I'm just going to zoom my camera out. So this, uh, if I keep zooming this out, this will go back like so, and you can start to see you can create this kind of weird tunnel effect where you're zooming in to the 360. Uh, remember, anything you do in Premiere Pro or After Effects, you can keyframe. So wherever you see a stopwatch, you can click once, move along your timeline, and then change the value, and it will basically create a kind of a keyframe uh, tween. There's myself with a little mask on, obviously. So I'm going to just adjust my pitch. And I'm just going to rotate this to 90 degrees, like so. So now we've got the kind of camera looking down at the floor. So you can see here where the uh, light stand mount is. I'm now going to, to zoom out. So I'm going to use a zoom camera. And there you go. That's basically how you create the little planet effect. Um, it, what it does is it takes the sky or the ceiling or whichever kind of environment you is, uh, making sure that as long as we've got the mirror edge enabled, so the mirror edges is enabled, it will continue that sky or roof and try and fill in our window. Uh, we can adjust our zoom to adjust how much we're looking, how much we've got in shot. If we adjust our roll, this will adjust the kind of uh, horizontal kind of uh, rotation almost. So you can get this kind of weird kind of uh, pulsing effect going on. If we use our yaw, we can basically get the, the planet or the um, image to spin. So if we're not happy with the position, we can either use the yaw or the... Uh... Oh, no, pandas is it? Or the rotate. Like I said, both basically do the same job, um, but both are technically doing different things. Uh, if we adjust our lens curve, that will actually start to stretch things out, so we're getting this kind of tunnel kind of kind of thing going on. We can also do the same the opposite way to start to uh, pull back from our sky. If we look at our advanced controls, we can use the advanced controls to move our planet along the x-axis, so offsetting it, and likewise with the y. So this is um, the GoPro Pro FX reframe is a tool that you'll, quite, you'll find a lot of people who work with 360 footage or 360 cameras use, especially if they're making, um, filming something in a 360 using a 360 camera, but the intended use of that 360 camera is actually to direct the audience's attention in a very linear manner. So if I just resort all this back to uh, default, and let's say I want the initial part of my footage to be focusing on me, so I'm going to keyframe myself, move along the timeline, and I want the camera to now basically follow where I went. So I, what I actually did is, if I remember correctly, I had basically walked around and hid behind this pillar. So let's just do this. So now if I press play, the camera should now follow me like so. So this is how we can use a 360 camera to get movement in our scene without having to have somebody with a um, kind of unnatural tripod to move the camera for us. So 360 cameras can be used for traditional filmmaking if you want to have the camera reframe at a later date without having to reset up or re-maneuver the kind of panel tilt of the camera 
um, especially if you're a one-person crew. So that is the GoPro FX Reframe tool, a tool that I definitely would encourage you to play about with. Uh, and again, there's some quite cool nifty things you can do with it, especially if you combine this with other effects. If you have any comments or questions, remember to leave them down below. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and continue watching my Working in 360 series of videos. Goodbye.